Hey guys, welcome to Cyberspace VR. Today we're talking about the Quest 2 versus the Samsung HMD Odyssey headset. Yeah, we're pretty excited about this one. As you've probably noticed, we've been making kind of a series about the Oculus Quest 2 and how it compares to a lot of the headsets on the market. We're doing this because we believe that the Oculus Quest 2 is revolutionary. They're upgrading technology and lowering the price. That's something that no other VR technology has really done. In fact, many companies in the world don't do that. Whenever they make something a little bit better, higher quality, they'll raise the price up a bit. It just makes sense. So it's interesting. So we're comparing the Oculus Quest 2 so that you know how it compares to maybe the headset of your choice as we're getting close to entering into 2021. And these two headsets are pretty different, so it's a little bit hard to compare them. Obviously, the Oculus Quest is standalone, uh, but as well as like PC VR. So today we're going to be talking about it in context as, as if you were just going to play it only connected to your computer. So uh, we're going to not talk about any of the, the battery life or the RAM or anything like that for that purpose. Um, something else I'd like to mention is, uh, I don't know, a lot of people are a little bit concerned with the Oculus Quest being required to have a Facebook account. Um, so that's just something you might need to keep in the background if you're concerned about them you know, using your motion data. Uh, that might be why it's so cheap. Um, we don't really know if that's what they're doing with that. Uh, perhaps that they're doing something nefarious, but really, I, I don't really care. So that's something you have to worry about and you can compare in your own time. But for me and us, we don't really care about that. It's not yeah. a big deal. For, for us, it just comes to, down to, we love the VR industry, we love VR technology, and we're super stoked that they're making better equipment and making it you know, lowering the price for so that's really cool yeah but and there might be stuff to look into with the whole facebook stuff maybe not but that's yeah. up to you so should we go ahead and get started then? yeah let's jump right yeah. into the specs so to start out let's let's start with the most important thing in my opinion when it comes to a vr headset and that's the display so for the the sam samsung's flagship headset it's got 90 it's a 90 hertz refresh rate which is awesome um with a uh, single eye each eye has a 1440 by 1600 display so let's compare that to the Oculus Quest 2 then. The Oculus Quest 2 is starting out with 72 hertz, but there's rumors that, or is it even rumors? No, it's, they announced it that they intend on moving to, the, to 90 hertz. Right. I think the issue is they, have, they still have the Quest 1 software, right? A lot of the software that was designed for that, so all the games and everything, is designed to run at 72 hertz. And so once, you know, developers and stuff catch up, then they'll move up to 90 hertz. When you, you're plugged into a PC, though, I'm pretty sure that it's maxed out at 90 hertz. So the, yeah. the display itself is has capabilities to do 90 hertz. It's the software that's still catching up on that one. So it, with that being the case, then we're even at 90 hertz right, right so far with, with both of these head, headsets comparing them. When it comes down to the refresh rate, so we look at uh, that one was 14... 100-ish? The, the, per eye? Yeah, the um, the resolution. Sorry, resolution, my bad. Um, so that one's 1,400-ish per eye. The Oculus Quest 2, the uh, resolution is much better, actually. It's at 1,832 by 1,920 per eye. Right. So we're already looking at an upgrade there, and the same refresh rate at 90 hertz per second. Right. So. so that one's almost 4K. That's a big deal. That's sweet. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. I, it blows my mind. Um, if you're like me and you want to use your headset for not just gaming, but for things like virtual desktop, um, watching Netflix, <laughs> watching movies, uh, oh, yeah. then you're going to want that high resolution screen. In reality, games can't really utilize it quite as well yet. If you've ever played, if you play VR, you know that, you know, some things are a little bit more blocky, but with that additional resolution, you know, the games like Half-Life Alex have the potential to just be phenomenal and awesome. Yeah. So that's really exciting. Oh yeah, that's that's really cool. So, so right now, if, if we're comparing just based off of that, the Oculus Quest Two is winning so far because right. it's got about the same <coughs> refresh rate and the resolution's just better. Right. So, what um, else we got? Let's talk about the speaker. Okay. Uh, so as you can see on the Quest, the speaker is actually hidden right here inside the back, inside of this hard part of the of the of the head mountain head mountain huh, the head strap. And then over here in the Samsung headset, they actually have dedicated nice headphones, uh, AKG, which is kind of their, that's what they send with all their new phones and everything. And so it's it's nicer. There's no there's no, no arguing that the Quest is gonna have a better sound um, than the Samsung. It's just when you have dedicated headphones that are right over your ear, you're gonna have a better experience. Right, that totally makes sense. But I guess it 
really just comes down to, uh, like, so for example, when we play VR, we typically hook it up to our TV and our speakers and our surround sound and things like that. Yep. So if that's the case, you can just disregard this because right, it, the speakers and the headset aren't going to matter. But if you just play in your room right next to your bed where your computer is or whatever, then then if you're going for the higher quality sound, Samsung win, wins this one right, for sure. One of the most important things when you're playing like Pavlov or whatever is having 360 degree sound, right? You need to hear the guy that's back and to your right coming up to you to knife you or whatever. And um, that's that's really important when you have, if you have nice headphones. But if you are just playing Beat Saber, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sound but sound at that point exactly exactly but it's it's great if you're watching movies because then you can have right you don't need super big like surround sound system but you can feel like you're in a giant theater watching you know and having like dolby atmos right it's the equivalent so right um one, one thing i'd point out though if if you're interested in watching movies and if that's the case check out one of our videos about the best vr headset for watching movies we're making a new one as well uh the the oculus quest definitely is going to be better for that even if the speakers are a little bit inferior because yep. look here we got a cord this is going to be the samsung is going to have to be hooked up to a computer you can't just lay down in your bed and that's the best i don't know if any of you have experienced that but sitting down or laying down in your bed watching netflix hulu super fun uh so this one's definitely going to be better just because the comfortability the mobility that comes with it things like that so keep that in mind i don't know if that's important to you yep. but if it is yeah, exactly. In my opinion, what that is the you? most underrated VR experience, is yeah. laying in your bed watching a movie or TV or whatever totally. on a VR headset. Totally. So um, uh, that should not be discounted. I, I, I love it. So. <laughs> so, Okay, what do we have next? Um, let's let's talk about there. tracking. So uh, this the Samsung Odyssey actually has um, six DOF cameras and two for track, or with two. So it's, it's a total of eight, I believe. So you can't really see them. I think they're hidden inside. But it's inside-out tracking. You don't need any like in-room lighthouses or anything like we used to with older headsets and and neither does the oculus quest 2 obviously so uh th they're kind of tied on that one the inside out tracking is a must if there's i would never buy a headset that doesn't have it these days yeah um the valve index is awesome but in my opinion you just you just have to have the inside out tracking it's so much easier and so much less less things you have to worry about yeah way way more convenient for sure uh, maybe if you sacrifice some quality there, uh, that definitely is arguable. But I, I didn't. I haven't noticed. I haven't either. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say, but it is nice just tuning in, like putting your headset on, and getting right into VR. You don't have to worry about the base stations, things like that. So that's yeah. that's definitely a pro. How many cameras does the Quest have? Is it five? Uh, yeah, I think it's five. It looks like it's only four, but I think there's two on the bottom, so it's probably six. I don't I don't remember this is it listed there? I don't know. Do you see? Uh I don't think so. I didn't see it here. I'm assuming that yeah. it's com com comparable to the Rift S which yeah, which was 5 I believe, yeah. 5 or 6. It's so. going to be enough. Yeah, yeah you're it, more it, than not more than you need, but enough. It's going to make it yeah. a good experience. So yep. It'll be fine. Um I, yeah, I've played with the the original Quest and and the tracking felt just as good as the Rift S. Uh it just the quality was a little bit lower because yeah. the resolution and the uh, refresh rate wasn't quite as good as the Rift S. But, um, you know, obviously Quest 2 is catching up with that, so uh, we'll yeah, see how it goes. You should go and check out our Quest 2 versus Rift S. That's where we kind of break down what he was just mentioning, mm -hmm. which one's better, refresh rate, comparing that spec by spec like we're doing with this video. Right. So, um, Okay, do you have the weight for that one? Yeah, the weight for this one, uh, for the Oculus Quest 2, is 10% lighter than the pre previous generation in the Quest. Uh, and it is at 503 grams headset weight. Okay, well this one says it's 1.42 pounds. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> get a little head workout there. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know the perfect conversion rate, but there sure. you go. Um, I assume they're probably comparable. The Oculus Quest 2 might be a little heavier because it's got a battery and a processor and everything in it. Um, I can't imagine the Samsung Odyssey to have that much weight. Um, maybe the, the head strap is actually heavier, but if you get, for example, if you're going to be like playing this only in your, in your, with your computer, you're probably going to want the head strap that comes with like the one you could buy to add on and it's very similar. So it's going to add some weight. 
Um, and then if you get the one with the extra added battery, it's going to be even more heavy. So I assume the Quest, the Oculus Quest 2 is going to be heavier. Um, there's just no way around that when you have a battery in there. Yeah, because this, so. this 500 grams is without all the extra features. So yeah, it's hard to say exactly. This right here is going to be 500. This right here is what a pound and yeah, and some yeah. change. So, so yeah, should we uh, should we get into price? Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about the price. I think that is definitely worth worth mentioning. Oculus Quest Two, so the base model, the sixty four uh, gigabytes, and this is without any of the add ons, so without the the the, the head strap and without the link cable, is two hundred ninety nine dollars, which is incredible. Blows my mind. Absolutely incredible. The Quest, the original Quest, was $400. So not only have they upgraded everything, made it lighter, and just made it better in every way, but they dropped it 100 bucks. That's it's crazy. Awesome. Revolutionary. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say it again. I've said it in so many videos now. Revolutionary. Really cool. I mean, way to steal the market. Really, I think that's what they're doing. They, Facebook has to be taking a loss on this. There's no way that they can be making a substantial amount of money off of this headset. Yeah. I think they're banking on making sales inside the Oculus Quest store. Sure. So like people buying Beat Saber for the second time or third, if you had a PlayStation or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know. It just, it makes so much sense to me for them to really just steal the entire market, get people into this headset so that they can buy the mobile version that's only inside the Oculus Quest store, yeah. right? That's basically owned by Oculus Facebook. You know? Yeah. So, um, but it, let's say you wanted to c connect it to a computer like the Samsung Odyssey. So it's $300 plus the $80 with the link cable. Some people say you can buy a, a different version of the link cable for cheaper, maybe like 30 to $40. But in my opinion, don't even mess with that because you could buy a cable and find out it just doesn't work or you have issues with it and then you don't have, you can't call Oculus and say it's not working because you didn't buy their specific link cable. Yeah. It, to me, it's worth it to spend the extra 30 to $40 on the Oculus brand one. I know it sucks. I know you don't want to do it, but so I'm just going to chalk it up and say to get a PC powered VR from Oculus today you have to buy an Oculus Quest with a link cable, so you're looking at $380. Yep. And then if you want the head, the better head strap, strap, then you're looking at another 50 bucks, so $420, $430, Something I think. Something like that, with some tax. If you want the extra battery, then you're looking at even more. So it... Yeah. So let's just compare that really quick. Let's say, let's, let's call it $430 for okay. Oculus Quest 2 with all of the fixings, everything. Yep. That's gonna, I mean, that's basically the same price as the Rift S. Yep. Right? Let's say you don't want any of that. Whatever, you just get the headset, 300 bucks. That's cheaper than any of these top-notch headsets on the market. And like we're saying, it's already beating them in terms of specs and things like that. So definitely worth it. So $300 for just the base model, 430 for the up, for adding all the, putting all the add-ons in there. And then if you want the, uh, uh, the bigger gigabyte, like 250 or whatever it is, an that's hundred. Yeah, it's an extra hundred, so it'll run you at four hundred. I don't know if that's super necessary, but uh, I mean, if you're be. running it from your computer, then it's not necessary at all. Um, depending on what games you install, Beat Saber is really not that big. I think it's less than twenty, maybe eleven or twelve or something like that. Yeah. Um, the big games that you're going to be looking at are like Robo Recall and stuff like that. But even the Quest versions of the games, I'm sure, are a lot smaller. So yeah. Okay, so three hundred bucks for the base, four hundred and thirty, give or take. How does that compare to the Samsung? So the Samsung Odyssey headset is $630 new. Yeah. So that's obviously more expensive. Um, you get what you pay for though. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's gonna be a, a good experience. Um, if you look right here, like the controllers are more beefy. They're not designed to be yeah. packed in a bag. They're pretty nice controllers. Yeah, I. we have a buddy that has this headset. Um, he got it used for like less than half, I think he spent like, it's like 250, 300 bucks on it used. And he loves it. Um, he has no problems with it. He loves the controllers. I think the controllers are very well designed. It's got the little touchpad as well as a um, standard thumbstick. Uh, so I, I think that that headset's very, very nice. But then you look at the Oculus Quest 2, you're looking at something, you can get something brand new for $370. That's phenomenal, better, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So brand new, if we're comparing brand new, the Oculus, like we said, Oculus Quest 2 has got better specs and it's gonna be half the price. Yep. 
So there's that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, basically, what's probably going to have to happen is Samsung, Valve, they're going to have to reevaluate their pricing and their headsets, and they're going to have to try and match it because I, I just. It's hard to compete with that, you know, yeah. better quality, higher quality, plus cheaper price, way cheaper price, cutting yeah. it in half. It's, that's just absolutely insane. It's hard to argue with those numbers. Yeah. So, and that's, I think part of the strategy, because I think Oculus is taking a loss on this or their margins are super low. They're just trying to say, Hey, screw all you guys. We're taking this VR market by storm. Yep. Good luck cashing up to us. I, that's kind of my opinion on it. We'll see what happens. So we'll see how what yeah how people respond yep i'm really curious to see um how this goes i i can't imagine like somebody that's just getting into vr i can't imagine them saying oh i want to spend you know 650 dollars on a, this headset that came out a couple years ago or on the on the vibe cosmos or whatever it may be instead of saying well maybe i'll just dabble in vr and get an oculus quest right. Um, I have a computer already. I'll just get the link cable as well. And then they find out that they like playing it on its own as well as on their computer. There's just, it's hard to beat. Yep. How do like, how do you beat that? You got to match it somehow. You got to come out with your exactly. own product to match it. So, uh, are there any other specs that we want to talk about? Um, anything else we want to dive into? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think when it comes down to it, everybody it's, it's really hard to beat the quest Two right now. Oculus yeah. is doing some real neat stuff. Specs speak for themselves. The price speaks for itself. Yep. It's just, in my opinion, it's better. It should, you just can't, what do you do, you know? Yeah, I, I know a lot of people are going to be in the comments. They're going to be like, how are you comparing a brand new headset to something that came out a couple years ago? It's like, well, Samsung hasn't released anything newer. So when, yeah, when they release something newer, we'll compare it to the Quest 2. Yep. We'll compare it. <laughs> but today, I don't know. I don't know if yeah. that makes sense to, to buy it. Basically, what we're doing is we're trying to help you as the consumer know which headset's better to see, hey, I have this one. Maybe it's time to sell this one and get this one because this one's better. That We're trying to help you make that decision yep. so you don't just sit here with a, a headset when you could be having a better one. So that's what this whole series is about, Quest 2 versus yep. an Index, whatever we're talking about. We're just trying to help you make the best decision to know which headset's best for, best for you in your circumstance. Absolutely. So... Anyway, anyways, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you. Yeah, go ahead and comment. Tell us what you think. And uh, like this video. That we, we would really appreciate that. And if, if you could subscribe, we would really, really enjoy <laughs> seeing, seeing that pop up in our notifications. So we really appreciate that as well. So yep. this is the Cyberspace VR. If you're interested in learning more about virtual reality stuff, check out our videos. We have a bunch coming out. And go to our website, www.vrinformers.com. We've got some interesting stuff on there as well. Yep. And we'll see you next time.